All right, so the first thing, we hold the pick, hook your finger, put the thumb over the fat part of the pick. So you go like that. Okay, then we've got this bottom string. And then the first exercise, if you remember, it would take the top string, which is the sixth string, and you go. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, then we try to come back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Just reach up a little bit. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, good. Now we go like this. Then we can come backward, you can come up and come backward and go. Like that. Then we can try to hit each one like this. Now we're gonna hit down this time on the way back. So you go. So that's all six strings. Now, what we do is we count the strings from the bottom up. So you count them one, two, three, four, five, six. So the strings are named one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're also called a name. E, B, G, D, A, and the top one is E again. So the top string is E, and the bottom string is E. They're the same sounding pitch. One is just way higher than the other one. Okay, now, let's try to do our permutations. Our fingers are numbered on the left hand, the fingers, there's no number for the thumb. It's just called T for the thumb. The fingers are numbered one, two, three, four. So we go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if that's a little bit too hard way down here on the first fret, then you can go up to the fifth fret which is the second dot. So you go one, two, three, four, five. You can do it up there and the frets are a little closer together. So we're trying to do each one of the four fingers. One, two, three, four. That's called a permutation. All right, now, you can also just go back and forth between two fingers at a time. So you can go. And all the time I'm doing this, I'm holding the thumb behind the middle finger. So instead of behind the first finger, it goes behind the middle finger, like that. Okay, now, now you can also go two to three. 
and you just keep moving them back and forth. And you can go three to four. Three, four, the thumb is still behind where the middle finger would go. And then another thing I like to do is just go one, three, instead of one, two, one, two, one, three. So we go. And when you put one finger down, you pick the other one up. One, three, one, three. And then try to do it down here if you can. I know it's a little bit farther reach, but if you could go like this, And you always want to play not these are called the frets the bar lines but you always want to should play to the left of the fret just a little bit and then you can go two to three and you can go three to four And then remember I said you can go one to three. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. Yep. And then now one more thing you can do is add the open note. When you play notes, but you don't have any fingers on, you know, like you do, don't have any fingers on these are all called open notes so I'm going to take on this first string on the bottom the E string and I'm going to go I'm holding on up here so the guitar is not going to go anywhere so I'm kind of holding on with the arm and I'm getting down here with that pick see how I'm holding that pick and then I'm going to go so I'm going to go one Play in open one three one open one three one because I'm only using the first and the third finger, but I'm playing open first open so I'm going but I'm getting my hand all ready to go with my thumb behind that second fret. I'm getting my hand ready to go open one 